Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a WordPress website on Namecheap with the Softaculous Apps Installer. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward way of installing WordPress. This is good for the Stellar Plus, Stellar Basic, and Stellar Business plans. As long as you have access to cPanel, you'll be able to follow the steps in this tutorial. And if you don't know if you have access, I'll show you if you do have access and go through literally every step along the way, uh, going from not having a website to having a WordPress website associated with a domain name. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm here at namecheap.com. I'm gonna log into my account up here, go to my dashboard and view all of my domain names. So I have a bit of a few domain names here with Namecheap. Um, the one that we're gonna work with today is tonys.surf, okay? What a cool domain name that is. Let's click on manage here. And right now there is no website associated with this. Uh, we can confirm that. Let's open up a new window here. Go to tonys.surf, right? Uh, it's just the blank uh, or the land, the default landing page for Namecheap. Okay, let's, let's get WordPress on here. So the first thing that trips up a lot of people is this step that we're gonna do. They don't even know that they have to do it. So because we're gonna be using the Softaculous apps installer in uh, our cPanel, uh, we have to change our name servers for this domain name from Namecheap Basic DNS to Namecheap Web Hosting DNS, okay? And that's gonna allow our cPanel to uh, have visibility into this domain name, okay? And allow this domain name to use the DNS records within cPanel. If that doesn't make sense, just know this is a way to link your domain name to cPanel. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard. And um, basically, when you signed up for your Stellar account with Namecheap, um, you associate it with a domain name. If you have multiple domain names, you'll see something like this. Uh, otherwise, if you just have one domain name, then find the find this icon is basically what we're looking for. This is how we link to cPanel. Again, it's not intuitive, but that's just how it is. So this is the domain name I signed up with Namecheap with. So that's why it's associated with that um, that this record here, this entire row. Uh, but because I have multiple domain names since then, uh, you see all them show up here. But just because this cPanel is associated with this domain name doesn't mean that we can't have another website from another domain name associated with it because that's the whole point of having unlimited hosting with Namecheap so you can have multiple WordPress websites on the same server. So this cPanel, let's go in here and add that uh, hosting for tonys.surf. And the first step we want to do in here is add an add-on domain. So if we come down here to the domain section, we'll see add-on domains. And this is going to allow us uh, to basically add Tony's surf to this list of add-on domains here. And as you can see, that's not the case right now. So let's go ahead and type in tonys.surf. And if you click out of here, you'll just see that um, everything autofills and that's fine. So let's click on add domain. And in my experience, this um, can take some time. Uh, whoops, Tony's, uh, okay. So let's try that again. It's because I was in here before, tonys.surf. It didn't like the fact that this was uh, the subdomain for serial guru. So I'll just say Tony's surf. surf. This really doesn't matter, honestly, what you have here because the domain name that we're gonna be using is Tony's Surf, so tonys.surf. Um, so let's add that domain. And uh, like I was saying, this can take, you know, anywhere from a few seconds up to a minute or two. Um, I don't know why, in the past it's been a lot quicker, but recently I've noticed it's been pretty slow. So if we have to, let's just go ahead and fast forward through this. Okay, and literally like 45 seconds later, it's done. So let's go back to the main cPanel page. Uh, and actually before we do that, you'll see now that we have uh, tonys.surf here, uh, the document root, which means like the, the physical location on our server is at this directory. Um, but yeah, let's go back here to the main page. And what we're gonna do is use, like I said, the Softaculous apps installer to install WordPress on that uh, domain name. So let's click on that. And you'll see WordPress isn't the only thing that you can install. You can install a whole bunch of different uh, applications on your server for your website. So let's go ahead, uh, but let's just do WordPress this time. And um, you can read through this, we will continue on to install, click on install now. And 
uh, here we go. So this is where we're going to set up WordPress at this domain name. So we're going to use the latest version of WordPress at this time, 5.7. Uh, the installation URL, HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, tonys.surf. And this, this would not show up if it wasn't for the previous steps that we took about, uh, you know, the DNS records and the add-on domain. So those are uh, required steps in order to have your domain name show up in this list. So um, I recommend you choose HTTPS. You can do HTTP. Uh, let's name the site. So we'll do Tony's Surf. Uh, my WordPress blog about surfing. And then um, admin username, uh, pick something other than admin. I'm gonna keep it admin for the sake of the tutorial. Password, uh, I'll copy that, but um, don't try to hack my hack my site. Uh, admin email, I'll pick something that exists, tony at tonyteaches.tech. The language, English. Um, you can or cannot choose what some of these plugins to install, limit the loginizer, limit login attempts, and the classic editor. Uh, I like the classic editor, so I'll install that. And then if you want to pick a theme, you can do that out here within Softaculous, but obviously you can do that within WordPress too. So let's go ahead and install that. This usually takes no more than uh, 30 seconds to, to finish installing. It's usually pretty quick. And then um, when that's done, uh, because we selected HTTPS, if we go to the website, you'll see that we get the privacy error. So we need to install the SSL certificate next. So let's go back um, to the panel. So let's hit back a couple times and then go to the SSL, Namecheap SSL section. And what we want to do in here is uh, there's, it's kind of confusing, but there's two different uh, options here. We want to go to the installed via Namecheap SSL tab and uh, you'll see down here that the installation for uh, the SSL certificate is in progress. So it's just a matter of time that we have to wait for this to um, to be available and installed on our website. And if you're not familiar, HTTPS is, or SSL certificates are uh, what allows you to get HTTPS on your website. So uh, you can refresh the progress by syncing, clicking the sync button. And uh, I don't know, like let's let's give it a few minutes and then again, I'll pause the video here and uh, when that finishes syncing, I will catch back up with you. Okay, I'm back like no more than a minute later and we do have the SSL certificate installed and active now uh, and we can check that out. So let's open this up in a new tab and you'll see that tonys.surf uh, is indeed being served over HTTPS, and we have that SSL certificate, which makes our connection secure. Um, so let's go ahead and log into the WordPress admin dashboard. We can do that by going to your domain name slash wp-admin, hit enter, and the credentials that we provided in Softaculous, type those in. For me, it was admin, and I should still have the password on my clipboard, so I'm gonna log in. And uh, there we go. So we have our WordPress admin dashboard. Um, I won't go into the uh, details of setting up your WordPress website. I have another video right here that'll guide you through like the, I think it's the first 15 things that you need to do after installing WordPress on your website. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.